Hi guys, welcome to our vlog. Han and Kai. So, I am Han and I am married to my German husband Kai. And we're sharing the tips and how we got married in Denmark and also my first applied to Germany under Visit Visa. So, here's our vlog and um, if you're not yet subscribed on our channel, please click the subscribe and notification bell. So every time we post here, you are updated. on the last vlog on how to get married in Denmark and the requirements you need to provide so here's the next topic that I will share to you guys is the report of marriage in Philippines as I mentioned before we got married in Denmark last year August 2021 and due that when I visit Germany um, I have a limited time or visa uh, at wala na kaming time to, to report the marriage in Denmark. So, um, we emailed the TFA in Denmark on where we can easily report the marriage in Philippines. Um, we emailed them, is it possible to email the, uh, is it possible to, to, to report in Germany? Kasi my husband is living there. So, the Philippine Embassy in Denmark says that we can submit the documents in Berlin or Frankfurt. Um, kasi mas malapit kami ng konti sa Frankfurt, so we try to email the Philippine Consulate in Frankfurt kung paano yung process and how, what are the requirements they, they must need from us. So, so, ang sabi ng Philippine Consulate sa amin, the processing of reporting the marriage in Germ uh, in Denmark will take six, six, six or more months approximately. Kasi they will forward it to Philippines and then the Philippines DFA are, will send to Denmark. So I said, oh, it's ganun ba? It's, it's better pa pala na i-report ko na lang siya direct sa Philippines. So, so sabi nila, sabi, sabi nila, yes, you can do it directly to the Philippine uh, DFA. Kasi kung idadaan mo pa sa amin, it will take longer. So, sabi ko, okay, kasi I will, I will return back naman sa Philippines. So I think it's better na sa Pilipinas ko na lang siya i-report. So what is PSAROM? PSAROM is a marriage between Filipino and the foreign nationals should be reported and registered with the PSA through the Philippine Consulate or Philippine Embassy which has the jurisdiction over the locally where the marriage took place. Next is where you can file the report of marriage. You can file the report of marriage through the um, Philippine Embassy or near to the Philippine Consulate covering the country where you get married. But sa amin kasi, um, dahil wala na kaming time ng partner ko, so nag-email naman kami sa uh, DFA Denmark and na pwede siyang report through Philippine DFA Asiana. So malapit naman kami doon. So nag-email din ako sa DFA Asiana kung pwede silang i-report yung ROM namin going to Denmark. Requirements for ROM in Philippines. So number one, five forms and printed in A4. So yan yung itsura niya. So ano ba yung mga naka-indicate dyan sa report of marriage? Three sets siya, three layers siya. Yung upper part is details of contracting parties of before marriage. So yan yung both partners kayo info nyo, yung name nyo, yung date of birth nyo, kung kayo place of birth, civil status, citizenship, yan. Yan yung first part. Yung second part is details of foreign marriage. So, pag sinabing details of foreign marriage is where did you get the marriage, took place, um, kung sino yung witness nyo, and then yung uh, name of officiating sa denizing authority, kung sino yung nagkasal sa inyo. Then, yung position nung nagkasal sa inyo. So, sa third part is details of ascendance. Pag sinabing details of ascendance, um, parents nyo, um, info, information ng parents nyo. And sa lower part, you should sign it. 
ng partner nyo. And you need to notarize by the notary public kung saan nyo uh, ire-report. So, dun nyo rin siya ipapa. Kung saan country nyo siya ire-report, dun nyo rin siya panonotary. So, sa akin, sa Philippines ko siya ni-report. So, sa pub Philippine public notary ko din siya pinanotarize. So, five forms, ROM, and printed it in A4, okay? Um, here's the link where you can get the ROM, Denmark. So, the number two requirements is marriage certificate translated in English. And you need to apostle or authenticate it to the uh, foreign ministry office uh, where the marriage took place. So, sa amin, hindi na namin siya pinatranslate sa Denmark kasi uh, yung marriage certificate na nareceive namin is a multi-language um, in Deutsch, English, Danish, Francois, and Spanish. So, multi-language yung marriage certificate namin kaya hindi na namin siya pina translate pa sa English. So, accepted siya. Ang ginawa na lang namin, pinapostled namin siya sa Denmark. So, yan. So, the number three requirements is birth certificate. Of course, kailangan English din to. So, sa partner mo, kung hindi siya English, kailangan mo pa siya ipatranslate. So, sa Germany naman, yung partner ko is English, uh, multi-language din yung birth certificate niya. So, hindi na namin pinatranslate pa. So, sa akin din, PSA cer birth certificate. So, number four requirements is passport copies of data page. So, hindi naman kailangan ng original sa partner ko. Yung sa akin lang yung daladala kong passport nung pumunta ako sa DFA Asiana. So, yun lang yung tinignan. Pero yung sa partner ko, sa husband ko, photocopy lang ng uh, passport niya, data page, 5 copies. So, number 5 requirements is the recent passport size photos, 5 copies also, 5 pieces, I mean. 5 uh, pieces recent passport photos. Yan siya. Yan. <laughs> so, number 6, ito yung mga delayed yung registration nila. So, sa amin naman hindi. So, ito lang. Additional info lang din to sa mga delayed yung file nila for registration their marriage. So, kailangan mo ng number 6, notarize of delayed registration if more than 1 year na yung marriage certificate nyo. Then is requirements is negative certification of marriage record from PSA or CRS number 4. Form 3. So, yan yung itsura niya. Marirequest niya yan sa PSA. Para siyang ano din, uh, marriage certificate. Pero, ito naman yung, yung uh, negative certification na katunayan na hindi pa registered yung kasal niya sa Pinas. So, marirequest niya yan sa PSA. Itan, isabihin niyo lang kapag nag-request kayo, yung P uh, CRS na po yung kailangan ko. Because I am uh, wants to report the marriage and I am with a foreign partner. So, yan yung sabihin niya sa kanila. Once you request it to PSA. Number eight is, ito yung para sa, uh, if divorce or annulled. Um, submit a copy of divorce certificate or, or a foreign degree decision. Yan yung number eight. Para yan sa mga, uh, may mga partner na divorce. So, yan. Sa amin kasi ng partner ko lang yan. Single kami parehas. <laughs> so, additional info yan sa mga uh, uh, divorce couples. So, uh, how will you process these documents? Once you complete these documents, you need to email again the DFA, Ashana. So, maybe kung sa Los, uh, Visayas, Mindanao ka, you also can email them. Maybe uh, you can you can submit these documents near to your uh, DFA places. But yes, you must first email them to know the information from you. So, sa akin, malapit kami sa DFA, Ashana, so doon ko siya sinadmit. Once you submit the documents, this this will be the subject of your documents when you submit it to them when you email the documents to them and they will email you uh, they will email you back if it's complete or not and sa akin medyo tumagal kasi sa as i mentioned number 7 i don't have that the negative certification of marriage ang pagkakaalam ko sa numar so sa numar hindi siya kailangan <laughs> yan yan pala yung negative certification so dun ako dun ako tumagal ng konti uh, um, so nag-request ako sa mega mall so so, it took three weeks when I received the number seven, the negative certification of marriage. Nung na-receive ko na yan, yun, kinumply ko ulit siya. And once I complied the document na kulang, binigyan na nila ako ng appointment date kung kailan ko siya pwedeng submit. So, last November ko siya sinabmit. So, uh, yan. I, so, dun ko siya sinabmit sa DFA Ashana. And, and in consular records window number one. And I pay... 
25 dollars or in peso 1260 peso so they said to me that the processing approximately processing time is or period is two to four months so november kasi nagmeet um last week nagpalo up ako and two weeks uh, two months na so last week nagpalo up ako ang ang inform nila sa akin is still in denmark processing and baka baka on the third month hopefully uh mai nandiyan sa kanila so i'm really also hoping na mabilis din yung process but yeah so yun and ito yung form na ito proof na receiving copies payment receipt payment receipt and then information yan ROM number may mga bibigay silang ROM number so yan and also additional information din to guys sa mga same sex couples na married sa ibang bansa na nagpakasal like Denmark and other um sa especially sa Denmark okay kasi sa Denmark ako nasal so sa same sex couples naman is married is le- legal sa Denmark and um you don't need uh, nag email ako last i think two weeks then regarding about this info kasi um sa last vlog ko i also share na you can get married same sex couples and binational couples sa Denmark so i also ha- uh, want to know that you to know na yung same sex couples hindi na kailangan i-report sa Philippines yung ROM nila as i emailed to the German embassy um they they said that you can check the requirements on them and this certificate of marriage took in Denmark is accepted for you to apply FRV family reunion visa don't need the report of marriage in Philippines um accepted naman na siya sa German embassy but for more info and clarification especially sa same sex couples that I shared to you also this part um you can directly email the German embassy to know more in- information regarding this so yan yan yung requirements ko how I process the report of marriage in Philippines so sinabmit ko siya November and two months na siya now so hopefully <laughs> hopefully by on third month by the third month meron na update na nasa kanila na and they can submit it to PSA so so we can apply next to future FRB but for now I can process first the A1 naman so yan yung vlog ko for today hopefully may naintindihan kayo as I share again tips and the requirements on the, F- the report of marriage so guys abangan nyo rin next week ang next vlog ko about naman sa how to register the marriage took in Denmark to Germany dahil sa Denmark kumit masal so this part is for the report of marriage in Philippines and the next vlog is the report of marriage in Germany naman so abangan niyan guys as I explain it to you um, thank you so much guys for watching our vlog for today and if you are not yet subscribed please click the notification bell and click the, bo- the subscribe button <laughs> and if you have some questions or queries you can, if you have some questions or, or queries you can comment down below or you can message me at Hankai Facebook and Instagram we also have Hankai underscore official please uh, follow me there also guys and and add me sa FB Hankai so yan thank you guys for watching today's our vlog today mag end na ako and God bless everyone bye bye off with your sand Hi guys, are you planning to get wedding in Denmark? But you don't know where to start? And due to pandemic, it's hard to do it? Don't worry, we have the same problem like you. Here's the thing you need to know. We got married in Denmark last August 2021. International couples, same-sex couples, are legal and accepted to get wedding in Denmark. To organize your wedding, we are excited to share to you our agency in Denmark. This agency got married also in Denmark. They do it on their self, so they build their own business to help the same like you, like me and you who plan to get wedding in Denmark. Marriage in Denmark will help you to make it easier, legal, fast, affordable, and hassle-free. Just use our code Han Kai to get free consultation and special services they operate. Remember that love knows no borders. God bless 
and enjoy the wedding in Denmark.